about those Walker gears deployed by the CFA. It appears that it's not just the CFA. PFs all along the Angola Zaire border are also getting equipped with them. The bipedal technology was developed by the Soviets, but Cypher is the one supplying it to the PFs. The question is why? What's in it for them? The answer may lie in the compensation being traded to Cypher by the PFs. Many outfits operating in Africa get locally mined resources as spoils of war. Diamonds, nuggets of gold, and rare metals. According to the intel team, there's a PF convoy that regularly transports the goods. Escorted by armored vehicles, no less. Pretty heavy security for crossing the remote Angolan savanna. I can't imagine Cypher would be so interested in minerals alone. Those convoys have to be transporting something else. Something that holds the key to Cypher's plans. Boss, I want you to extract the truck, cargo and all, from the PF convoy. Let's find out what Cypher's real goals are. Boss, your objective is to steal an entire truck from a PF convoy. We don't have a fix on the truck we want. But the intel team has spotted the unit that's been tasked with escorting it. They're stationed at the guard post to the north of Nova Braga Airport on the Savannah. The rendezvous with our target is at any time now. Start by heading to that guard post. Then follow the escort unit. It should lead you right to the target truck. Boss, extract them from the mission area. You can check the target details on your iDroid. Be careful down there, boss!
Mission complete, and how? They're gonna tell stories about this one, boss. Boss, we searched the truck you recovered. There were two primary types of cargo. First, drums of malachite, a copper ore. That took up most of the truck bed. But malachite isn't valuable enough to warrant an escort. The real cargo was likely the second item, a shielding container. The contents, yellow cake. That's right, the raw material for a nuclear weapon. That might point to the weapon to surpass Metal Gear Emmerich told us about. But who can say? Thing is, there isn't a lot of it. Not enough to make a nuclear warhead. Give us some time, we'll look into it. Try to figure out why they had this under such close guard.